Vivek, if we can come to you um, first. Uh, we've got a question here that says, um, what makes BP different from other major oil companies? Do you have any stories or anecdotes you can share with us? Thanks, Scott. Uh, yes, this is probably something I can go on for a very long time, but let me pick up a few since you've asked for stories and anecdotes and not sort of corporate statements uh, or strategy. Let me pick up a few uh, things which appeal to me as examples or as illustrations of where I think uh, BP is different from other oil majors and also from the two big multinationals I've worked in before, which is uh, Unilever and Diageo, who are also leaders in their own fields. Uh, the, the first for me is uh, the, the area of uh, diversity of people. And I think that the, the story I have is that apart from any statistics you might find or every day when you go around, we were working recently, we were working uh, with a big uh, global company based in Germany. And last month I was in a meeting in Germany with them. And this was one of those uh, very serious meetings where you have six or seven people from each side sitting across a table trying to figure out uh, something to do together. And uh, it was interesting for me, uh, if someone had taken a snapshot of that particular meeting, on our side, we had, uh, if I just go by nationalities and diversity in terms of nationality, we had uh, one person who was uh, from Ukraine, uh, half Ukraine, half British. The second was from Iran, the third, or ex-Iran, now lives elsewhere. The third was uh, me, an Indian. There was one German, one British, one person from Zimbabwe. Uh, and that was the team on our side. And on the other side, of course, everyone was from the same nationality. They were all German. They were all high quality, but they were all German. And I think out of seven people, they had one female. I think out of our seven, we had three females, four, uh, four males. So there's a diversity of people where uh, you tend to find BP being quite diverse in terms of uh, the people we have. And that uh, helps and drives us in the way we think and the way we behave. Let me take a second example, which is about being progressive. Uh, so if I take an example of uh, sustainability, this is an area which BP has perhaps out of oil and gas companies been uh, the first one to declare that we believe this is the way the world is going and we need to do something about it and we are committing to it. So even the oil and uh, gas uh, climate initiative is currently chaired by Bob Dudley, um, who's our chair. And uh, many of the companies from places like uh, the US or China haven't even yet joined it. And some companies in oil tend to not even uh, believe in the statistics of the science, but BP has been ahead of others. And in this year, we've been articulating our advancing low carbon uh, strategy and initiatives. And there, as an example proof point, there are lots of things. In Castrol, for example, we've launched the world's first plant-based lubricant, and we already have it in the US, China, and Australia over the last 12 months. We've launched a product based on redefined product, and we give carbon offset offers to all our OEMs and franchise workshop uh, uh, dealers. So there are lots of proof points that in the area of sustainability, in the area of being progressive, perhaps BP has a point of difference from uh, many of the other oil and gas companies. A third example would be in the area of brand, which I see that particularly in uh, downstream, we tend to believe quite passionately in terms of our brand. We measure our brand like I used to in a Unilever or a Diageo, which is not common in uh, oil and gas companies. And uh, once, three years ago, I had made a heritage film on Castrol, which traced the 109-year-old heritage of Castrol and just picked some of the key points of pioneering in the world, always being first with something. And for a lot of people, employees and distributors in the room, whenever it's shown, they tend to have tears in their eyes, which is quite emotional reaction to brands, which I'm used to from the big consumer companies, but perhaps not so much in a typical oil and gas company. And the fourth one, uh, normally I don't go beyond four, but the fourth one is really about the values. I think in the last seven years, BP has been uh, quite disciplined and uh, emotional about our values and everything from the objective that we set for people, the way we assess people, the way we give rewards is somewhere in those five buckets and those five values. And anyone who goes outside that, not just the code of conduct, but even the values uh, is not someone who would have a career uh, for very long. 
So I would say these are perhaps four areas, be quite different. And then depending on where you are in BP, sometimes you find a point of difference with other oil and gas companies. Like a last thing to end is almost the forensic and the discipline way in downstream that in the last three years, that we announced a strategy with investors, with employees, and then we've been very consistently doing everything to try and meet that strategy and get the growth that we've talked about is something that I find uh, quite inspiring. Back to you, Scott. Great, thank you, Vivek. I think the next question, Francisco, if we could come to you, very simple one. Um, somebody just said, what attracted you to the program? Sure. Um, I would say <clears throat> you cannot speak the program without talking about BP, right? So there are two things here when, when, I, was, when I was a student in, in the University of Chicago that I looked at. First of all, about the program itself, for me, is that this, this was a very, very high profile program. Okay, so you have a lot of exposure to the, to the senior level leaders, and it was for, for high flyers. Secondly, the two rotations, one local for two years and one international. So having that expert experience uh, is it's something that was super valuable to me. I mean, I, I was working all around the globe uh, before, before Booth, before the University of Chicago. So it's something I really enjoy doing, is working with different cultures and different people. So having the, the opportunity to have an expert experience a uh, few years abroad and, and, and the FLP facilitating that was, was super attractive to me. The other thing is that uh, the program was, was very flexible. It's something that uh, you could, you could um, choose your path. As, as Scott said, the, the second rotation is based on your, on your development needs. So it's very flexible in that sense. They will not tell you, hey, you should do this, this, or this. Um, and lastly, on the program itself, and I would say a few words about BP, uh, perhaps building on what Vivek said, is, um, is the, the, the fact that they will give you a mentor and a coach. So what we call the, sorry, the, 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 a buddy and a coach or a mentor. Uh, the buddy is someone that is in a program like yourself and went ex through all the experiences that you, that you went through. So it's like kind of your, your guardian angel that is, uh, will tell you and give you all the tips and toes. And the mentor is someone very, very senior. You have to be careful. It's not super, super enough, senior enough not to devote uh, uh, that, that enough time to you. But that will, that will uh, give you all the strategic direction that you need for your career. Okay? So that was super attractive for me on the program. Uh, that that leaves, leaves the program it, itself on, on one side. And let's talk about, of course, VP, because you cannot talk, the program, talk about the program without talking about VP. VP for me, top international oil and gas company. Uh, you can you can just look look at the uh, at the um, any 10k about BP and uh, BP on the news and how material this company is is huge and it's a fantastic company to work for. Secondly, um, it's a global company. I would I, I did want to to maintain that uh, global exposure in my career. It's something I really enjoy. Um, um, I'm Argentinian, uh, so I like to go outside and and. Uh, work with completely different cultures, as I said before. Second, thirdly, I would say that I was talk more about uh, talking with people about, about VP, and VP always had this, this mojo, I would say, about a, it, it's a very entrepreneurial company. Uh, it's a company that says, hey, this is, makes business sense. I would do it. Uh, you can see uh, in, in the way we, we were the first developing the trading arm of, 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 an, oil, of an oil and gas company. Uh, how you can look back through the history of VP and of, of course all, all the all the British mojo, the, the, the merchants, the, the, they like to be entrepreneurs, and that is something I really really liked about about VP. Um, I don't know about other companies, but that is if you compare to to to, to other majors, I mean, the, the, I perhaps a bit more structured. VP is super enter, entrepreneurial, and if, if if something makes business sense and you can prove it, VP will go for it, and, and that is super valuable to me. And the last one, and this is based on, on initially pre, pre, pre FLP, based on other people's uh, comments is, hey, this is a company that really cares about, you have these values and behaviors, of course, but I, I work for BP and, and they really take care of me. I have a great work life balance. They care about my family. Okay, so that was something I, I really valued. I, I had no kids before, before uh, I had one kid before entering BP. Now I have four. So on a personal level, I can tell you, BP is a company that really takes care of you. You have good work-life balance, 
and they are with you all through your career from a complete, complete uh, holistic point of view, not only your professional, but on a personal level. And uh, who better than me than, than I have four kids to tell you, to tell you this. Uh, I have a big family uh, and BP has been there for me all, all the time. And I really, really appreciate that about BP.